Okay, this is the SM57. Uh, it's an SM57 repair capsule that I got. It ships from China. It's less than five bucks for two of them. I mean, it's crazy. It takes a long time for it to get here. Now, there's a lot of reviews on this that the SM57 capsule doesn't fit. It's not threaded. You read that stuff. This is the middle section right here. And this is the old, this is the old element made out of metal. It's heavy, you know, and a, a vocalist or whatever wants that feel in their hand. They're going to give that up when you buy the, this capsule. That's no big deal because you're saving a lot of money. And here's the deal. You've got to remove the rubber from the inside of this part. This thing comes with this part. Now, I had to do some modification of it. And you may, um, you may or may not have to. This is the original, um, I would call this probably uh, fiberglass uh, sort of washer setup that goes in here. And this, this, uh, this goes in, this, this fits in there some, oh, it just fits like that in there, right? On the old mic. And you got your polarity, the yellow and green. Now, this is how you put in this capsule because people say, well, it doesn't fit, right? You got to rip out the, the rubber parts that are in there. And then what I did is I just fed it through like this. There, see now how that gets right in there. And then that'll settle that in there. You're going to, uh, at least me, there's no, um, you lose, you're going to lose your sticker. You can probably move it. And then this part's going to be a little bit different. But you're going to get a $5, you're getting a $5 mic, so you're going to give up something. Now, this part, I had to um, elongate these holes right here that go over these two little knobbies in the rubber. And then I had to also create a little divot right there for my, for my two terminals to come through, the positive and the negative, right? And then that part sort of fits in there like that. No, I'm doing it wrong. That's not right. If it's like that, wait, like that, there. Something like that, what did I do? Oh, I did it wrong. That has to go like this through there. There. That's how, that's how I do it right. And then um, that goes right there like that. Now what I did is, I, I got those, I elongated those holes, so I'm going to move those little rubber deals into the holes to hold that thing down. And as you can see, I over-tightened that nut and cracked it a little bit. You know, once again, we're, we're not doing, um, once again, we're doing um, sort of surgery on a mic, not using the $80 capsule replacement. You get that $80 capsule replacement, Hey, congratulations, buddy. You just you just installed an eighty dollar mic. That's great. Good for you. But here, here's the five dollar solution. Oh, Two dollars and fifty cents. I got another one. So this is the it's the one six eight zero zero three eight AN twenty one. I don't know what that means. Anyway, SM fifty seven. This is probably a manufacturing code or whatever. SM fifty seven available on eBay. Doesn't um it doesn't sound exactly like the original. But you know what? In this case, the original, and you solder those on, and you screw this on, and there you go. You just turned your dead SM57 into a live SM57. That sounds a little bit different, but when it's rock and roll, who's going to know the difference? So, there you go. SM57 repair kit. Okay, the last step here. You want to get the green wire on the positive, marked red on this, uh, marked red on this counterfeit. Let's call it the counterfeit. Fine. Capsule. And we'll solder that up. There's the tab. There. Mm-hmm. That's my daughter talking about some kind of elephant puzzle or something. Okay, so here's the yellow. I'm gonna bend that baby up and then give it a little solder. There. Now
that's the situation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna screw this together. So what I'll do is I'll back it up, pre-twist that wire a few turns. That wire gets twisted a lot. There, plug it in there. Do that there. There's your SM57. You've just turned a dead mic into a live mic, and it costs two dollars and fifty cents. There it is. Okay, the part I left out. Oh, no, stop now. The red wire, uh, the green wire, and the yellow wire are supposedly the way that you differentiate between um, differentiate between a real one and a counterfeit one. Now, on the on the replacement cartridge, you're going to have uh, the red is coated red in a red color. That's the positive. You're going to put the just go ahead and solder it up to the green. I'll go ahead and do that. You know, I won't just refer to it. I'll do it. So I'm going to tin the going to tin the leads here. Well, actually, let's see. This is kind of tricky. I can still do it. There we go. I'll go ahead and... Yep, my videographer here is doing a great job. There. I have connected the green lead up. We'll go ahead and solder that on. Apply some solder to that tab. Let it flow. There, man. I think that worked. Oh, no, I failed. Let's do it again. There we go. Something like that. There. No. Stop. Stop the video. <laughs> 